Welcome to Minecraft Pacifist Edition, where I try to beat the game without killing any mobs. Obviously, we can't beat the game without killing a few mobs, so there are going to be a few ground rules. Rule number one is no killing mobs. Not with a typical weapon like a sword or a bow or foot and steel or whatever. Yeah, piggy, piggy, piggy. So for rule number two, we have to find workarounds to kill the blazes and the ender dragon in order to not break rule number one. Mm -hmm. Rule number three, if we do kill something or if I get a pet or it dies, we reset the run. Who's a good boy? Not you. Rule number four, no fishing. With all that out of the way, let's get started. Just natural. There's so many sheep over here. Oh, I almost just looked at. Did I look at him? Oh, I did look at him. Oh, I'm actually dead. I'm actually wrecked. Yeah, what are you gonna do? I just I have to hide shit. in the water. <laughs> I don't want to dig a hole. Run. Swim up the hill. I'm swimming up a river. While I was out looking for resources to help us survive, my wife was making us a beautiful dirt house and started a farm, which would be our, our first crop that would allow us to eat. Iron. Iron. Yes. One. Two. All right, guys, first big purchase here. Shears, there we go. After getting enough iron to make shears, I would finally be able to get wool and we would finally be able to sleep and set our spawn points after making beds. I see you. There's no little guy. Our first big purchase. Actually, this is the second one. <laughs> beds, we got beds. Yes. We then slept for the first time in our new home. And after we woke up, my wife decided it was time to move out of our dirt house and make something a little more reliable and permanent. <gasps> There's diamonds, guys. One. Two. Ah. Normally, I'd, oh, three. Perfect. While my wife was making our house and growing our farm, I was mining and looking for ores. I then got enough obsidian so we could fast travel in the nether eventually. Now we'll be safe. We can just mine as many of these as we can. And we'll be fine. Guys, we have 45 obsidian. Let's get out of here. My wife then decided it would be a good idea to hide a chest in our home that I thought we were sharing everything in, but apparently not. And guess what she put in it? Yep. A bunch of garbage tools. Every second that this challenge goes on, it gets more difficult because we have to come up with new ways to play the game that we're not used to. While I was away, my wife continued to expand our farm. I then witnessed a lava pool about to take out a forest and spread a fire towards our home. It. Oh my gosh, it's actually heading the direction of our home. Look guys, there's the fire. There's my home. Look at this chicken. He's just he's just stuck up there unless he wants to fly. If he learns how to fly, he's, he's good. Otherwise, he's a goner. I then took off to go find a village in hopes that we could find some books. Or All right, I'm going to go try to find a village. I saw some light this direction, so we're just going to go try to check it out, I guess. My wife continued to expand and plant seeds at our farm. I then had a minor heart attack when I thought my boat fell off the edge of the world. Oh, 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 we actually, like, that was scary. I, like, went off the edge of the world, and I, like, started dropping for a second. I then boated for thousands of blocks looking for a village. Listen, I'm hoping to find a village soon, and I'll stop walking so much. Can't even break blocks. Listen, I'm like 3,500 blocks away. I'm rage quit. Please don't. We're just walking. We can't even run anymore. We're just walking. 
<gasps> Finally a diff. <gasps> what is that? Oh, it's nothing. Wait, is it? Every second that this challenge goes on, it gets more difficult because we have to come up with new ways to play the game that we're not used to. They make this thing. Oh my gosh, perfect. Yes. Mushroom stew. These snowy biomes scare me so much. I'm gonna sink in the deep snow and never come back. Here you can see my wife continuing to expand our farm. Eventually, after thousands of blocks, I had finally done it. I found a village. Oh my gosh, we did it. Yes. Yes, we found a village. <laughs> yes. No? Okay, I guess I'm just dumb. Uh, I didn't kill him. That was not me. He burned to death. That was not me. Oh, what is that? Yo, that's a good s Oh, wait. I don't need a sword. Never mind. Never mind. I then told my wife that she should go and start to build a place to set up the portal back home so I could fast travel to it through the nether. He's not going to die from this guy. Don't worry. Just going to push him off the ledge. See, he's fine. Bro, leave them alone. They're just a nice family, I think. Hold up. Oh, yeah. They're just a nice family with some loot. Hold up. Let me just steal their loot. Uh, the, you just let the zombie inside. They kill me. What's wrong with you? This kid does not love his village. I then went in the mines to mine some obsidian to go back home. While I was in the mines, I got jump scared. A lot. <laughs> I see a spider. I fell. I don't know why I'm freaking out so much, honestly. Oh my gosh, I actually got jump scared. That guy scared the crap out of me. Oh my gosh. Why are there so many skeletons? I didn't make the jump. It's okay. Did I recognize some? Okay, wait, wait, wait. I don't want to be around here. I don't want to be a. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay. Fine. Fine. Yeah, Yo, jump off the ledge, you won't. Okay, I think it's time to go. Yep, it's time to go. We're gonna go to this top of this mountain. And then, once we're here, we'll build the portal. And hope for the best. I then made my way to the top of a mountain where I set up my nether portal to go back home. Alright guys, I'm going in. I'm gonna need your coordinates. In the nether. It's time for me to come home. My wife then entered the nether portal back home to tell me the coordinates to get to her. While I was on my way back home through the nether, my wife continued to grow up and expand our farm and collect a lot of wheat, allowing us to make bread. Oh, <gasps> yes! I think this is your spot. Well, obviously it is. I don't know where the entrance is. There it is. Get me out! Yes! We made it, guys. Okay. Okay. Now the big, the big, the big next step of our uh, master plan can start now. The next part of this video is going to be insane. Boom! Enchantment table. I will let you place this because I probably want to make it in some special spot. But. After returning home, we had decided that it would be best to enchant some armor before we went to try to get the blaze rods from the fortress. After we had enchanted all of our armor, we thought it would be a great idea to go try to find the nether fortress. Is that? Oh. I think that might be... Yeah, yeah, I think that's a fortress. If you have played Minecraft, you probably know that you need to get blaze rods to get to the end. But we couldn't kill the blazes, so we had to think outside the box. So we had to test outside of our pacifist world to see how we could kill them without killing them? This is what I want to test. Oh my gosh, look. Witness it. It's dying. If this works, please. Did you get one? Hmm. 
Oh, snap. Okay. Okay, so snow itself doesn't kill, which is interesting. Oh, it does. Oh, it does. Okay. This might work. We're gonna drop this. Didn't even work. Okay. I wanna just see. I'm gonna do the golem first. Let's just see if they even attack. Okay, he's going after it. Oh my gosh, he murdered it. We tried killing them with a number of things, like drowning them with water or with powdered snow. We tried to have other mobs kill them, but ultimately they only dropped blaze rods from killing them with snowballs. We then decided we would use snowballs to hit the blaze rods and beat them, I guess. It's just a snowball fight, guys. You can't be mad at someone throwing a snowball at you. It's all good and fun until you disintegrate. But don't worry about that. We're back home. And we made some shovels. And we're going to go to a mountain that's nearby and get a bunch of snowballs. That's like, nearby. It's, it's pretty close. You know that? Yeah. We then set off to a nearby mountain to collect as much snow as we could. Look at this, guys. Insane. We just, like, filled up from, like, one pass. Ah, oh, we have three spots left for snowballs. But first, I had to go and change some of the chess names to be something stupid, so. Oh, thank you. Look at this armor. Never done this before. Looks pretty cool though. Anyway. Alright. Now we followed it. Follow the yellow brick road. It's actually red, but oh no. No, you didn't. Okay, just just chill. Just chill no, there. I didn't. Just no you didn't. You didn't hit him. I didn't see it. Here. Come on. I don't really trust you to not die again, so let's just be quick. Die again? I haven't died yet. Okay. Literally right. not one single time. Okay, well. <laughs> you the other Shh, I haven't died. Okay. No one needs to hear that, so stop it. We then made our way to the nether fortress and eventually found some blazes. Official guys, we've done this now, so there's no going back. I killed one, got a blaze rod. Didn't get the blaze rod. Give me the blaze rod, give me the blaze rod. Got the blaze rod. Listen, it's just a guys, listen, it's just a snowball fight. You can't be mad about that. If you get butt hurt over uh, someone throwing a snowball at you, then huh? If you get butt hurt at someone throwing a snowball at you, oh, run, run. Oh, heck, I'm running in, grabbing what's there, and we're leaving. Okay? This is it. We have plenty. We're good. Let's go. Just run. We have, like, actually plenty. We're good. You're behind me, right? Come on. We gotta go. We then got enough blaze rods from the s killing them with snowballs. Yeah, I bet. <laughs> I scratched my head for one second. <laughs> okay, we made it. I am not Why is there poisonous potato in with <laughs> the ores? And rotten like flesh. <laughs> what? <laughs> uh-huh. Then after returning home with all of our loot, we put it all away and then set off back to the nether to trade with piglins as this was going to be the only way to get ender pearls, which we need to beat the game. Epic trading music, again. Just kidding, I, I'm not putting music in. It's too much work. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, we have our first customer. What? Where'd he go? 
All right, they're done trading. Let's see how many we got. None. After trading, I eventually ran out of gold and went back to the overworld to find some more. Where's all the gold at? Oh wait, I know where it is. It's in our golden apples. Okay, got, got four pearls already. That's good. I think they're out of gold, guys, because they're killing each other. We have eight ender pearls. <gasps> I just... I just threw five golden apples in the fire. Why? I was, I was throwing away trash. And then what that... trash? Like, useless things. We traded for quite a long time with no problems or mistakes whatsoever. Oh, leave me alone. Uh-oh. Oh, he's got under pearls. I cannot believe I didn't notice. There's a fortress over here, guys. This is like right next to our spawn. You can see spawn. That's the fortress. Yeah, I'm with you. Well. I what? If you waited one second, I would have placed the block right there. Even knowing you're gonna fall. Ah, yes. Over here. We then went back to the overworld again to prepare for our first trip to the stronghold. <laughs> There is a creeper right outside. I don't know how I did not set it off. Oh my gosh. Wow. Watch, it's going to go straight down. That'd be so nice. Whoop. Okay. The direction I was already throwing it. Which way is that, though? All right. I'm going in the nether to try to figure out which direction. Yes. I'm not going to leave, but I'm going in. Word for Let's see. After making a few portals on our way to the stronghold to see how close we were, I fell. I'm dead. You have wood? You don't have any wood? Like no chest stuff? Where's that guy there, guys? Please don't hit me off. 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 He hit me off. Wait. The thing that happened next is going to shock you. Oh, yeah. Hi down there. I can't. Actually, I can just do this. Wow, how many, how many does this take? You can see that while I was breaking my boat, my items despawned. Break. Gosh. I didn't get anything. I don't have anything. Get it. No, I got a thing of bones. That's it. What? Where's my stuff? You're I'm actually not joking. It was all there. This was a heartbreaking experience for us because we were ready to go to the stronghold and now we had to return back home empty handed. How about this? I I go get blaze while you get gold. You gonna do that? I didn't hear what you said there, but yes. I'll go kill Blaze and you just get gold again. My wife and I then split off while she was trading, I was collecting more blaze rods. Wait, I don't know why I'm worried. I can literally just do this. And we're good. Hello, friends.
Then after I finished collecting the blaze rods, I went back to help trade and collect gold. Alright, that's it. Well done. Guys, go ahead. Spam spam the comments with Alapo is a dingus. Oh, he's coming. Alright. One more. Stop it. Oh, okay. It wasn't worth it. What? Okay, I know where all my stuff is. While we were trading and collecting gold, absolutely no problems happened and no deaths happened for sure. None. Definitely none. Oh, she died for the first time. Can you get your stuff back? No, no <laughs> Oh, I see your stuff. I see it. I'm grabbing it. I'm just grabbing it. <laughs> Guess what? <laughs> Wow. And the piglin? I'm dead. I missed the stairs. Dang it, there goes all that XP. I might die here. Yeah, I'm dead. In lava. With all the stuff, including the pickaxe. Maybe- Oh! <gasps> some of my stuff survived. <gasps> some of my stuff survived! Let's go! Get wrecked, dude. He burned. I don't know. Dead. Well, at least it doesn't really matter if you die. Okay. Why was... I don't know. I didn't do anything. Oh, the pickaxe survived! Now we were back on our way to the stronghold again. Traveling through the nether so it was faster and less walking. There's a whole family I can murder right now, guys, but I can't murder. They're actually in the way, though. No lie. You guys just... Goodbye. Goodbye. See you later, dude. They survive in lava, guys. It's not murder. See, look, he's just... He's just... Okay, is he coming back? Oh, okay. Uh. Uh. Well. Alright, so yeah, we actually missed it. We missed it. No. He's mad. Go get my stuff. I'm going in. Down. So we're still too far. This is halfway between the, this one and the other one. After making probably five portals, we finally made it to one that was very close to the stronghold. Ocean monument? Uh-oh. Uh-oh, wait. I don't want to be next to that. Goes. Eventually, we found the stronghold going through a cave underwater and mining to it. Jeez. Yeah, oh, you're f don't, yeah, don't go near them. Boom. Look at that. Maybe we'll get lucky. Maybe the room will be right next to us. Alright, let's, uh, let's mark this spot somehow. Now all we had to do was find the portal room. Which, eventually, I successfully found it. I found it, I found it, I found it, I found it! Oh no! Oh, guess you're gonna burn to death. Having found the portal room and knowing the coordinates, we set back home to prepare for the final battle.
The final battle was absolutely insane, so you're going to want to stick around to watch. Get in. Hey, what? Yeah, it's actually mad fast, too. Okay, we made it home. On returning home, I started researching how we could beat the Ender Dragon without killing it. Wait a second. Snowballs. Ultimately, after 20 minutes, I decided and concluded that there was no way to beat the dragon without killing it. Now we enter our second testing phase, the Ender Dragon. How are we going to beat it without killing it? Yo, they're getting demolished. Yeah, so the dragon's inside the lava right now, and nothing's happening. So. We were unsuccessful. Lava didn't kill it. S snow golems didn't kill it. And so we were out of luck. It comes with great disappointment that I tell you that we cannot beat the ender dragon without killing it. it is that surprising? Probably not. We're still gonna kill it. Here's the here's the deal. We're not actually gonna kill it. But what we're gonna do is sleep. That's all we're gonna do. We're just gonna sleep, guys. We then decided we would use beds to kill the dragon. Sleeping isn't murder. Uh oh. Goodbye. We don't want any. Thank you. We then decided it was time to make our way to the stronghold. Alright guys, this is the moment we've been waiting for. You have been waiting for. I've been waiting for. She's been waiting for. Yes. Three. Two. One. Yeah. We made it. I'm floating currently. I see nothing. Oh, hello. Oh, good. Take a direction. Build up. We didn't mean to cause any harm to the dragon. We were just trying to take a nap, guys, okay? I mean it. We were just trying to sleep. Holy crap. Oh, Ooh, I did it! Okay. It's definitely taking- it has taken some damage. I will say that much. We just wanted to take a nap, but it was taking damage. Okay, I'm putting in good damage. Okay, I'm about to die. Okay, I'm on top of a tower somehow. <laughs> Holy crap. Um, I'm gonna have a very hard time getting my stuff. Oh, I'm probably dead. <laughs> yeah. Holy crap. Oh, you clutch it, guys? Oh, I did it! I did it! I did it! We just kept trying to sleep, and eventually, the dragon somehow died. Yes, do it. Do it again. 
Do it again. Yes! Yes, we did it! We did it! Wait, what? It's done! Hurry up and join back and watch this. We did it! Yeah. Hurry up, come back. The dragon is dying. Okay, I jumped in. I was about to die. I it literally was like gonna die. We then jumped in the portal and beat the game. If you've made it this far, I really appreciate it. And I want to shout out my wife. Thank you for doing this challenge with me. Thanks for watching. Cue the new outro. Outro song. Do 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 do. Click over here for another video. Do 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 do. Click over here to subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe.